Hey family, welcome back to the channel. Today we're vlogging. <laughs> Why? Because that's what I want to do. Um, my glasses are dark because they've been sitting in the sun on the um, on the nightstand, y'all. So that's why they're dark. I haven't been outside in them. Um, I just finished my workout. It was awesome. I am sweating, sweating, and I love that. The burn hurts so good. I love it. I absolutely love it. So look, y'all, I'm gonna show y'all these plants I bought before we get out and do what we gotta do today. So I got these at Home Depot. This one is a Epi Premium. Maybe all of them say that, let me see. This one is a Pythos. This little, this one is so pretty. I'm gonna talk about this one first because it has these purple leaves, the purple foliage. And then I think this one is in the Pathos family as well. It's going to grow all over the place too. But this one is a Pathos for sure. And it has this little water system down here where I fill it right to, I, I put the, it, of course you ha it has this plastic part that the plant is actually sitting in, the plastic container. And then it's inside of this. And then this shows you the water level. And then it has this wick at the bottom of the plastic container that, um, I think it dries out once it needs water. So this could still run out, but then the wick, I think, has to be dried before you put more water in here. So that keeps you from overwatering the plant and underwatering it. So I don't know what I'm going to do <laughs> once this starts to get really big, but I know what I'm going to do because I'm like getting back into plants and I'm like, this is something that I really want to do. So... I'm really going to take my time out to, you know, get educated on plants because it's something in my life that I want to do the same way I'm taking my time out to get educated on everything else, right? Health, fitness, food, all that stuff. So this is also a part of my life. Now, I originally bought these to go in the bathroom on that top shelf, and I did. They were there. However, I'm feeling like I don't want plants in my bathroom now because... Anyway, I'll tell you about that in a minute because I'm not done talking about the plants. So, yeah. So, these are the plants that I got for the bathroom. These these went on the top shelf. And plus, I didn't like the way they look. This plant is doing beautiful, if you remember this one. I got this one probably about six or seven months ago. Doing absolutely beautiful. I don't need to do anything to her right now. This was the snake plant that was leaning. Yesterday, I went to... Um, Home Depot, and I got some more potting soil for it, and I got a different container, the plastic container that you see. I got that, and I got some fertilizer um, for it, and I repotted it. Now, let me show you something, because we're about to go out here on the patio. So, it's looking good so far. I'm hoping that it'll stay. Now, this terracotta pot, I already had. I love me some terracotta, especially for snake plants. So I already had that and I just pulled it out of the garage for this purpose. I, I don't know if I'm leaving this over here, but y'all, I just want plants all over the place. I have some neem oil coming because I think that when the plants got dry in the bathroom before I pulled them down last night, they were there was some like spider mites out there. There was some um there were some spider mites in my bathroom. So that's another reason why I pulled them out of there. Um, and so the snake plant was in this pot right here, which is what my grandma gave me. And, um, when she repotted it, she repotted it in this pot and she didn't put it in a plastic container, right? So I had a hard time because, you know, when you plant it in a plastic container, you just pull it out, right? You just like bunch the plastic container up and it makes it easier to, it makes it easier to transport the plant, Right. And so it was potted in this without that plastic container. And so I literally had to just gently just pull it out. So it wasn't like bound at the bottom by any roots like a plant would normally be. So it kind of separated at the bottom. It did. And so I had to really pack it down with the potting soil to get it to like stand up and stay. So I'm hoping that it will do its thing 
And also I cut those leaning pieces off because that's what I was advised to do by the guy that helped me at Home Depot yesterday. Now, I was at Home Depot, y'all, part of my learning. And I just went in there for some regular potting soil, right? So I ran across this because I don't want to just be going to get potting soil, right? Just because it says potting soil. Like you want to learn your craft. You want to learn what you're doing, especially me, like I do. I want to learn what I'm doing. I don't want to just be like going to get potting soil just because it says potting soil or potting mix. Oh, something's on my arm. Is that a fly? Um, I ended up running across this stand in the plant section long enough and it's a tropical potting mix. And it was just what I needed, specially formulated to include lava rock for added drainage that tropicals need. And what is my plant? It's a tropical plant, it's a snake plant. And then you see on here, they have the monster plants and that sort of thing. So I got this. When I ran across this, I put the regular potting mix back. And then I just, I said, well, let me get this. So what this has taught me is that when I go into the stores to get my potting mix, I need to be mindful of what I'm buying, right? Like I don't want to just go in there buying anything. I want to get what my plants truly need. So kudos to me. So that's that. So that's what I use to get my snake plant together. And then I don't use regular water. I feel like a bug still on me. I don't use, um, <clears throat> let me sit right here for a second. I don't use the tap water to water my plants. I know I, I use spring water and then uh, I got some fertilizer that I pump into the water and then based on the measurements that they tell you, the guy that helped me said just pump it. You could either put it in the soil or you could just, you could, you know, put it in the water when you get ready to water your plants once a month and then do it that way. So I fertilized the snake plant and then I put the rest of it in my big baby right here. So... Yeah, that's the oh, so I pulled the plants out of the bathroom, y'all, because I really just felt like they weren't getting um I'm getting enough hair to braid, y'all. It's growing. Um, my braider says she only needs two inches. But yeah, so I'm getting I, I pulled the plants out of the bathroom and I still gotta get my ZZ plant out of there because I don't like it as much as I thought I would. And I felt like they didn't have enough room to breathe in there. My bathroom is such a small space, and I don't know if that's a thing. I don't know if plants need enough space to breathe. I don't know. But to me, it just felt stuffy in there with the plants. And so I was just like, I, if, I'm, if I'm feeling stuffy, maybe the plants are feeling stuffy. So I pulled them out of there to water them because the dirt was extremely dry. So I pulled them out of there to water them. When I noticed the spider mites, just a, a, a couple of them in the bathroom around the tub, I said, yeah, it's probably dry and just kind of stuffy in here. So I pulled them out and that's when I ordered the neem oil, which is not here yet. It's supposed to come tomorrow, which is Friday. But I'm gonna need it anyway. I'm gonna need that neem oil because not only is it good for like taking care of bugs and your plants, but it's also good for um, beautifying the foliage, making them shine. So I'm gonna need that. Um, and I pulled them out because I just didn't like the way it looked. I didn't think those particular plants looked pretty on that top shelf anyway. Of course, when the pothos starts to grow and grow down and that sort of thing, that's probably, I'm probably going to either put it back in there because that's what they do. They, the pothos need to be up high. So that'll probably go back in there or I'll buy another one. But I definitely want like my plants out here in the living room. Um... What else was I gonna say? Oh, and let me show you where I actually want my plants. So my idea for my plants is to have them over here. Like I just, I feel like it's a good amount of light over here. I have a lot of natural light in my house. So like along here, I'd like to see some plants. I'd like to see some over here, you know, against this over here, like, right in these two spaces and then over here and over there like i just want plants throughout as i learn to take care of them of course i don't want to have too many and not know what i'm doing 
but right now I have what six because I have those two I have these three and then I have my ZZ plant that's in the bathroom so um yeah that is that now let me show you what I got at remember I used to have the three pieces hanging on the wall up there I took them down and I'm about to show you why found this in Hobby Lobby the other day girl let me show you this let me show you this baby because she about to be so pretty in here look at that this picture is huge y'all look at that that goes so pretty in my living room look how I look with the color of the curtains that is so gorgeous and it just falls in with my decor so much better than those other three pieces. I'm about to grab my other three pieces so y'all can remember. Or I'll insert a, like a, a video, a layover right now so you can remember. But this right here, y'all, this is just... When I saw this, and then it was $100. It was 40% off, which made it $60. And then I had a $20 credit left over on a gift card from Hobby Lobby. Um, and I used that. So I paid $40 for this big picture that's going to look so beautiful on that wall. Now, my thoughts for this wall is, and I'm just like trying to step back so you can just see how well that's going to go and how well, let me move this tripod, child, because it's all in the way. And how well, look. It's just like, it just falls in with my stuff. It falls in so nice on my mirror, my furniture, and those pictures over there. So it just goes so much better than those three metal pieces that I had up there. And I was trying to take those down for a long time, but I couldn't find anything. But this right here, this is my new favorite baby. When I saw this, I was like, oh yeah. That is so me. That is a nice picture. So I like that country farmhouse stuff, y'all. I'm on that. Like, that's, again, that's the aesthetic of our house, and it's just, it's a thing. It, it just is. So that's what your girl going to be over here doing, and that's on period. Um, I'm about to get dressed because I need to step out. I'm looking for some stuff today. I'm trying to find me some sandals. I want two pair. Even though I may end up ordering them online. My daughter got some real pretty ones from Shein. So I might have her order me some. Um, I'm looking for some accessories. Because I'm trying to get ready for my trip. And not only stuff for my trip. But for me to just be pretty. You know what I'm saying? And then I want some pillows for my bed. Like I'm feeling like I want some pillows for my bed. Right? Like let me put this on mute. I be watching. I be Even when I'm done working out. Y'all I be watching workouts. Like I just. I'm all into that workout stuff. <laughs> Girl, my body is changing, baby. Like, she's sculpting over here, honey. I was at my weight. Girl, I, 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 girl. She looking good. I'm, I don't even mean to brag, but I do. <laughs> I don't mean to brag, but I do. But, yeah, um, I, I, I'm just, uh, yeah. Anyway, I want some pillows for my bed. I just feel like my bed is just, like, I'm going to redo stuff in here anyway. I'm not really, like, I kind of want to change this around a bit. The quilt. I kind of want to change that. I told y'all that I wanted a new comforter because of the balls. But not the balls, because the, the fabric on the inside of the comforter had got lumpy, which you could kind of see it just a little, right? Not much, but just a little. Now, two of the family members here told me to... um. Put the uh put the what you call this the comforter in the dryer and throw some dryer balls in there and i do have dryer balls i just don't use them because i get tired of chasing them but i do have some so they were telling me and thank you family they were telling me that i needed to do that and that would probably straighten out the the inside of this because it's really comfortable y'all and i don't want to get rid of it like it's become my favorite comforter and so <clears throat> that's what i sleep under and so this is just on the top of the bed for daytime, but at the same time, I sleep under this too when it's cold. So because I have this on the bed during the day, 
I just kind of want to see something else. So if I find something while I'm out today, I'll change my comforter, my, my quilt. I want to keep the comforter, even if it stays like lumpy a little bit, because it's not a big deal. It's just not that serious, right? It's just not. Um, it's comfortable. Um, my bed is not just for decoration. It's for me to sleep in. So I like it. I, you know, but I kind of want to see some pillows, right? I kind of want to see some, some other pillows on my bed. Um, eventually I want to get rid of these and I love my curtains. Like I love my curtains. I love the color. I think that's the most favorite part about my curtains is the color. It's just, I love the color of these curtains, but I'm going to be honest. This here is getting on my nerves. This is getting on my nerves. Like that hanging on the floor, as long as, as long as it's hanging, that's it's starting to get on my nerves at first it didn't really bother me again that was a mistake and i'm chatting this morning y'all um before i get in the shower and get dressed but it's getting on my nerves um so i'm kind of thinking about changing them i could have somebody like take them up. I could have that done, but I, I don't know. I just got to see because I don't want to get rid of them. And I don't want to just go and buy the exact same color, but a different length. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I just got to think about it. But the hanging of the curtains like this, it's just, I don't like it no more. They're too long. And so I don't, it, it's just bothering me at this point. So my point about the curtains was that I kind of do want to change the color in here. Maybe but not not the re not the rest of the house down here. I, I don't I don't cuz I love the color. It's just the length is just, you know, bothering me at this point. So I'm getting ready to get dressed. I'm going to get a shower, get dressed. I think I want to go to I don't know where I want to go. But because I'm looking for some pillows, I think I want to go to Home Goods. I saw some stuff in there last time I was in there. They well, I didn't see anything that I like wanted in particular, but they had a lot of, you know what I'm saying, pillows in there. They had a lot of new inventory. So I'm gonna go check them out today. And I'm also going to pop in somewhere else. Like I said, I'm looking for some sandals and I'm looking for some accessories. Um I got some stuff coming in the mail as well that i've ordered so y'all gonna get to see all that but yeah i'll see y'all in the car honey so i'm gonna give y'all outfit of the day i have on this little baby doll dress with these chunky steve madden if it'll focus sandals i thought those were so cute i got these these probably about a year ago y'all let me let it focus about a year ago so this is what i'm wearing today i have on a glass lip by mac mm -hmm. this is how i'm stepping out now my legs have gotten so toned that I was gonna just wear the dress by itself, but I was like, no, I'm definitely not stepping out of the house in a dress this short. That's not gonna happen. But anyway, super cute. And I like the way this look. I didn't iron my jeans, but it's okay. They're jeans. So yeah. And we're out of the house. I am, I need to turn this air on. It's hot today. It's a very nice day today, which is why I was going to just wear my dress by itself. But I don't know, y'all. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm 44. Like, I'm a middle aged girl. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be out here having on no little tiny dresses now. That's for them young girls, you know? So I figure I'll put something on under mine because she dressed modest now, honey. Um, but, I mean, you know, when I go on my cruise now, that's different, you know? Because I, I might take this dress with me on my cruise and this is probably going to be one of the ones I take. And, you know, that's different. I'm on a cruise. But out in the world like this, nah, I don't want my legs all out, even though they looking so toned. Ah, y'all. Oh, my God. Like, I literally cannot believe 
how my body is just changing and the strength that I have, like how strong I am now. Like, it's just, I, it's unbelievable. It is so unbelievable. I know y'all be like, all this girl do is talk about working out. But I, for real, y'all, like, it's just, it's a thing, right? Like, <laughs> you do it, it works. And I just, I feel so good. I feel so refreshed. I feel so happy, right? Um, and I love it. So, we're going to be vlogging over here sometimes. Y'all are going to get some different content on the channel. And this is just a little chat I wanted to have with you while I'm driving. We're going to be doing some different things over here on the channel because, or some random things. Because, you know, I just feel like that's what I want to do. Um, we're always going to do cleaning because I'm always going to clean my house. And... You know that's just it, that's just that on that you know what i'm saying like i just don't I, I never really meant to get stuck in one thing but i'm glad that it happened i'm glad that y'all have gained the knowledge of how to properly clean and take care of your homes and again i'm always going to talk about that that's not going to change but i like being on here talking about different things you know talking about pretty things you know clothing decor um just perfumes maybe um just different things that i want to get into that's why i told y'all i was wearing this glass lip by mac because you may like it you may want to go get you some you know what i mean so there's more to me than just cleaning i have my trip coming up that i know i'm gonna vlog for you and speaking of vlogging I just don't know if I want to do a second channel. Like, I know that I sent y'all over there. And I'm not saying that I'm not going to go over there no more. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's just, it's a lot, y'all. It's, it's a lot to record videos. It's a lot. And sometimes you feel like there's something you want to do. You know, you want to start a second channel because you want one channel to be for one thing. And then you want another channel to be for another thing and sometimes you know when you switch up and, and sometimes that's best let me say that because when you switch up from a niche then it could you know possibly affect your views it just depends on your audience and it probably will but i don't want to worry about that anymore i want to have fun on youtube i want to do what it is i do here i want to bring me to youtube right and not just some spray bottles and rags like I'm again it's more to me than that so y'all are gonna get different content over here I mean if you've read my about me I talked about the channel being revamped but still amazing like if you if you like Stephanie then you're just gonna come here for Stephanie it doesn't really matter what I'm doing if you're interested in cleaning decor girly things you know what I'm saying if you're interested in those things then you know this is where you will come you know so and i get that everybody's not here for it i get it i get that a lot of you all subscribe to this channel because you like niches and you like to hear me talk about cleaning but i'm a lover of life right like i am there's always something different going on in my life life looks different every day it's not just cleaning right so again that was a short conversation we don't need to you know go in too deep about it but i just want to be free like i'm just i'm in that place in my life where i just want to be free i just want to be free to do what i want i don't want to be in bondage i don't want to be you know stressed out about nothing uh, you know when my cleaning uh videos are not getting as many views as i think they should i don't want to be stressed out about none of that because it doesn't matter i'm just on here just kicking it right um and you know and whatever that looks like that day you know so i wanted to say that while we were out here riding you know it's a little car chat for you i had my grandson the other day i might throw some clips in here of his little self we'll see but i had him the other day he spent four days with me and when i tell y'all that little boy is that's the smartest two-year-old i ever met he said he want to do it. He's such a big boy. He want to do everything himself. Do you 
you want me to help you? Oh, I had banana in my smoothie earlier, y'all. I don't know if I said that. I named the ingredients, but I forgot the banana. I'm always going to have banana. Yay, you are such a big boy, and you're so clean. <laughs> he is a mess, honey. That little boy is 22. You hear me? He is not two. He's 22. Like, he is just... <laughs> he don't want me to do nothing for him. He don't want me to peel his banana he don't want me to put his clothes on. Like, he want to do everything himself. Everything. That's how he roll. So, I let him, you know, because he's a boy. And that's what males are supposed to do. They're supposed to take charge. And they're not supposed to let women tell them what to do. So, if he is like that right now, I can imagine what he's going to be like when he actually becomes a man. So I love his little self. Like he just keeps me laughing. He is so funny. And he just cheers me up so much when he's with me. So yeah, he was with me for four days. And he just he know everything, honey. He know everything. So yeah. Um so I don't know where are we going, y'all. I think the first place I'm going to is home goods because I really want to find me some pillows. And then I want to see what other little shops are on along this strip where I'm going. Because again, I'm looking for me some accessories. And I really do think I'm going to let my daughter order me some sandals. Or at least um, show me, you know, like, I don't have to let her order them. But, you know, she can, she know the section and all that where she got those from. And so, hers are really cute. I could really just wear hers because we wear the same size shoes. And she wear my shoes. So, I really could just wear hers. But, I don't know. We'll see. Because she might end up buying her some more stuff. I'm sure she will. Before we go on our cruise. And so, child, I might just end up with her foot, with her uh, sandals. Because <laughs> she might not even be taking those. We'll see. But they're so cute. And so, I know she said she got them on Shein. I think I told y'all that. She got them on Shein. And, and so, um... So yeah, so yesterday y'all, I had a self-care day. I went and got my nails and stuff done. Got me a pedicure. Y'all know I had started doing my own pedicures, if you know. But girl, sometimes I just want to get pampered, girl. I don't always want to do it myself. And I think I've gotten a little lazy with it, so it doesn't look as good. You know, I mean, I guess I could just do it every now and again. But I really like going to get my feet done. Now, I don't like nail salons. I, I don't know if you, you know, you might be new here. You might have never heard me say that. But I don't like nail salons. And I don't like them for a number of reasons. Um, but I used to go to this black girl who has her own little booth. She doesn't do pedicures, though. She says she just can't deal with people's feet. But when I tell y'all this girl does a manicure with precision, I'm going to have to start making my appointments with her again. She's like 30 minutes from where we live now, and that's perfectly okay with me. The only thing is, I'm going to have to find me a nail shop that I actually don't mind going to for my pedicures. Um, because she doesn't do them, and I don't like the one by my house because I just don't like them. I, they're, they're a brand new shop, and I've been in there a few times, a couple times, since we bought the house. But they, you know, they were clean because they were new, and it's just like within a year i don't know how long they've been there i know we are we have we would have been in our house a year next month so at least within the year their shop is gone down like it smells in there so i don't know if somebody breath was stinking girl or somebody clothes was dirty the lady who was doing my manicure she didn't have on no gloves her hands just felt gritty and sweaty and and it just didn't smell good. And me being a cleaning lady, girl, I see everything, right? I see everything at the restaurant. I see everything everywhere I go. If it's dirty, I see it. So I was looking around me. The pillows, you know how they'll put the pillows under you because they're doing your feet and hands at the same time. So you got one person working on your feet, one person working on your hands. 
and then they'll put that pillow under your arm to rest it. The pillows was dirty. It just, they felt dirty. And then the back of the spa chairs, because I could see like on the chairs next to me, I could see behind them. The back of the spa, cha spa chairs, like whatever that part is that's on the back of those was full of dust and dirt. And it, was, it was just like, I'm just not coming back in here. And then the other reason why I don't like nail shops is because they don't have good customer service. A third reason is because I don't like that it's three different people. If you got three services, it's usually going to be three different people working on you. One on your hands, one on your feet, one on your brows. And they, you're expected to tip all three of them. And that's not my problem because y'all got three people doing three different services. Like, So, I mean, it's already expensive going to the nail shop as it is. And then I got to turn around and tip three different people. So, I'm just like... I don't like nail shops for that reason. So for me, I'm just going to pop in. I'm going to get my feet done at the nail shop. That's going to be that on that. I go to my nail girl. And then in that same uh, place where she has her little booth, there are other girls in there that do eyebrows and this sort of thing. So I think I'll be like rolling like that. Because, yeah, just not with the you know the nail salons i don't do acrylic i can't i can't i can't, I can't put that on my thing on my nails that's that acrylic is just bad for my nails so i just go and get a gel manicure and then when i go back for them to take it off i let them know how i want it to be removed because they'll put that foil and that um that you know that foil and put the, the cotton balls and soak your nails and that softens your nails even more and just really mess them up even more. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Take that little file thing and get this off. Do that. And, you know, then I can soak them in the, in the bowl and, you know, you can just kind of like, you know, push it off like that. But the way they like to do it, it messes up my nails too bad. Um, and then acrylic messes up my nails too. I just never felt like acrylic was healthy. So yeah, so for the 75th time, we're headed to Home Goods. And I have to keep saying that because I have to remind myself, right? Because this is how you can remind me working. Girl, even my double chin, girl, that I was getting, even that's going away. Like, oh, this is just getting thinner. <laughs> and I'm telling y'all, like, I would just be laying on my bed. I would just be laying on my bed and I'll just break out into some leg exercises, some leg lifts some butt lifts some some uh some donkey kicks i mean like i just do stuff like that because i just always want my body to be working now i do have like i will give myself a rest like there'll be a day where i just don't work out or a couple days because i work out three to five times a week so even if i don't do nothing rigorous i will do something i don't just not do anything so i'm always moving my body i still haven't gotten into walking though and they say that walking is so healthy and it's also fitness, of course. So I can walk in my neighborhood, definitely. And also there's a park, I looked it up on Google, um, not too far from our house that has a walking trail. I'm just kind of like skeptical about that because I don't want to be the only one in the park on a walking trail should I you know, show up that day and nobody else is around. So that's a little scary for me because I watch movies you know what I'm saying? And uh, stuff be happening to them women on them walking trails. So I don't know if I want to do that, but we'll see. You know, maybe my daughter can go with me or something if, you know, she off and she feel like it. But when David come home, maybe he, me and him can do it. But in the meantime, I could walk in my neighborhood and just, you know, let that be that. And, you know, get my walking in that way too, because that's going to tone my legs even more too, girl. My calves looking good. All this looking good, honey. Like, she is getting snatched, okay? So, and I just, I don't know. I'm not going to say I never thought it was possible, but I never thought, I'll say I never thought it was possible for me to just kind of like almost be obsessed with it. <laughs> like, and I say obsessed, like tongue in cheek, but I, I, I don't never want to stop. Like, I don't. Um, when I don't work out, when I say I'm not working out today, then I end up feeling guilty. Like I'm doing myself wrong or something. But I know I'm not because I do like to give my muscles a, you know, a break, you know, to keep down inflammation. So, 
I, I do that. And I'm not trying to be real. Like, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to be nice, right? Like, I'm just trying to look nice. That's what I want. And I want, like, definition in my arm. And I don't want the flabbiness under my arm. And, you know, the stuff that we women get as we grow older and lose muscle mass and we don't do anything and we start getting them bat wings under here. Yeah, I don't want that. Um, so I just, you know, I have a lot. I, I want definition in my thighs, my arms, stuff like that. So, yeah, that's what, that is what is happening with your girl at the time. Um, as of right now. And I'm eating right for dinner, I think I'm gonna make chicken pad thai. So, depending on how long this vlog is, I'll probably do that with y'all. But I know y'all don't mind me um, having long vlogs. Y'all don't mind me running my mouth, honey. So that's what I do. So, yeah, I'll probably make that with y'all. I, I don't know if I have all the ingredients. I might have to stop by the store. Cause I think I gotta get bean sprouts. I know I gotta get bean sprouts. And something else that goes in it. I'm not going to be crunching up no peanuts to put in it, though, because I don't have to have that. But I do like those pad thai noodles. So I am going to probably do that for dinner. I did take out my pastured chicken breast to make that um, tonight. So, yeah. So anyway, I'm almost at home, goods family, and I'll see you in a minute. These are pretty, but not the type of clothes I'm looking for, I don't think. It's the quilt to go to, but they never have a king, though. Wait, this might be a king. Let me see. This is 69. And the other one was 59, so. It's not really sticking out at me. What is this? Oh, this is pretty. And it's a three piece. And it's only $39. I bet you it's not a king, though. I bet you it's not a king. Y'all know I like that ruffly, shabby, chic look. Look at this. It is so pretty. It's a queen, like I thought. That, but how is it gonna wash? That's the question. Yeah, the question is how is it gonna wash, y'all? Yeah. They even have a pink one, but I don't want that color pink. They have this ruffly one right here too. This is pretty. music over their music y'all so if it sounds like that's what I did it's because I did home girls got some nice stuff I told y'all they got a their inventory 
What is this for $32? This is some clearance. What size is this? $60 for that girl. Mm -hmm. This is this is cute too. It's very boho. Which could also be farmhouse. That was $29. Not bad. It's cute. But this type of stuff always be broke. Always. And plus I'm looking for like tiered things too. Because I got my smaller plants. These are really nice for outdoor.
riding by. And this is a store called Versona Accessories. So we're gonna see what they got in here. That is a pretty dress. That is so pretty. <laughs> I wish I had the same delusion that I do when I was two and didn't think that I could ruin anything at all. I could never fall. I wish I had that same conviction, convinced I never needed fixing. Yeah, that girl really knew her business. Where did she go? Yeah, she thought she could do anything, thought she could get anywhere. Confident she's number one. And if nothing, everybody's wrong Used to be calm, now I can't remember How I used to do it that I was a member Of Confidence Club, cause that don't last forever I wish I saw what she saw I wish I knew what she knew I love how she just stoned the But sadly I've grown it I know I'm still that girl But I don't know how to show it Like she knew Wasn't really ready, no, I had to grow Up but it's so heavy and I'm feeling low I'm learning all that was wrong for me And I wish somebody would've issued a should've warning No, they did, but I kept ignoring Didn't wanna have to face it But if I don't, I know it's gonna break me, oh Yeah, she thought she could do anything Thought she could get anywhere Confident she's number one And if nothing else to become now i can't remember how i used to do it that i was a member of confidence club cause that don't last forever i wish i saw what she saw i wish i knew what she knew i love how she just stole but sadly i've grown it i know i'm still that girl but i don't know how to show us like she knew like she knew she knew she knew Hej hej, nu ska jag zooma in dig lite så att jag kommer närmare dig. Då kan du säga hej mamma. Hej mamma. Eh, hej pappa.
I am back. I'm about to show y'all what I picked up at Home Goods and the little store that I went to. Hold on a sec, y'all. I got to get the, the other bag. Now, child, I, I don't know if this, I got to find something to sit y'all up on because I don't think this is going to work. So, hold on a second. It may be, it may be tall enough. I'm probably just going to have to sit down. It's all good, y'all. All right. So, the first order of business, honey, is going to be home goods. Okay? I love this lip gloss. It stays on all day. I love it. All right. So, this is what I got from home goods. And I did show y'all these. Girl, she stuffed these pillows down in this bag. And hopefully, I will be able to get them out. But I just want to spruce up my bed, right? So I did get these pink pillows. Or fuchsia or whatever they're called. Um, I don't know the color. I don't think they're pink, but they are like a fuchsia. And I did decide to go ahead and keep my quilt on my bed. So this color is in that quilt. And it's just going to look really pretty. So I love these. Aren't these pretty? I love those. Although I showed y'all already in the store. But these are so gorgeous. I love this little ruffly look. Because y'all know. Like I'm into anything shabby chic. Um, farmhouse. Anything country. Boho. Like I'm into all that. And all that you can do together. Right? Even if you do like separate rooms. Because I know one of our family members here. She said like her bedroom is shabby chic. And then I think she said her bathroom is boho. So, like, that's a good idea, too, if you like those styles. You know, you could do just different styles in different rooms as long as, to me now, the styles, like, kind of fall in together like it's, it flows. So, that's why I always say farmhouse and boho could really, you know what I'm saying, do the same thing. Why my hair mashed in like that? But yeah, farmhouse and boho could really do the same thing. It just depends, right? So I got these, and these are super pretty, and I can't wait to see them on my bed. And I'm gonna sit them in this chair because I don't want to put them on the floor since they're not in the bag anymore. And then I got these two. And like I said, I am gonna change those pillow, those pillows, those um, we call them. The pictures above my bed, I don't, I'm, I'm over those. I want something else. I want like something, you know, big and, you know, uh, with a wood frame or just something. You know, I'm probably going to end up getting it out of Hobby Lobby, girl. So I just like, because I'm, you know, trying to just slowly, you know, do stuff to my room. And I also want Hobby Lobby's lamps to go on sale because I need some lamps for my end tables because I'm ready to change out those lamps that's in there. I haven't had those for quite a while and I'm just really, I, it's like I just can't get rid of them because I cannot find the lamps that I really want. So I'm just ready to get rid of those. I've been had those for about three years and it's just time for them to go. I also got these, which are, you know, shabby chic farmhouse as well. And this is how the detail looks. Isn't that pretty? It has like that, it has that gauze um, material. So that's very pretty. And I got these two to go on the bed as well. And then um, I got this. And I told y'all I didn't want this because I said, that's hot. I don't need that right now. But I ended up getting it anyway because it really don't matter. <laughs> this also has that gauze material as well. And then it just has like that little fur or velvety um flip side and that's the detail it was 32 dollars so i went on ahead and snatched it up and it's a queen size but i didn't mind it being a queen size because i'm not gonna like like it works it's gonna work for how i'm gonna style it on the bed so it has these little details in it the little like little flower details isn't that cute and then it has that gauze material so i really like this and it was, you know, they had it on clearance or sale or whatever this red tag means for $32. And it was regular $39.99. So I got a couple dollars off, a couple bucks off on that. I put that on, on top of the bag. And then I got this. Isn't that cute? That's a basket. And, or a cloth basket. And I'm going to show you. I got this for my big plan over there. 
I want to change that vessel that that plant is in, that vase, whatever you call it, that planter. I want to change that and I want to put this, I want to put it in this. I thought this was so pretty. So hopefully it works because this is kind of tall and that plant is tall too. So hopefully it works. I don't know. If it doesn't, I'll just take this back and get something else because I looked at several uh, containers for my big baby over there. So I got that y'all. And then that's all I got from Home Goods. And let me show you what I got from the little, the little shop girl. Let me show you what I got from the little shop, honey. What I picked out. I like that little shop. It's so age appropriate. And I never knew they were over there because we don't have age appropriate. Well, maybe they do have age appropriate shops. I just never can find them. I'm just fixing myself while I'm on camera today, girl. I see some white on my, what is that? I was messing with all that white stuff at the at home goods and yeah, it's all over my my dress at this point. I'm just gonna have to get the lint roller and get it off. But um, but yeah, so they just got some age appropriate stuff in there, and I was really excited to find that store because I like everything in there. I like their clothes, everything. Like I don't I hate going in stores and everything is just geared towards younger people. Like I'm 44. I don't want to wear, I don't want to look like an old lady, but at the same time, I don't want to look 25. I'm not 25. I'm not even 30. I want to be pretty, neat, modest, all that, and still be age appropriate. That's how I want to do it. So let me show y'all what I got. Y'all know I went out for accessories. So I ended up getting these. Aren't those pretty? Aren't those pretty? Those are butterflies and butterflies and flowers. Mm-hmm. Let me show you again. Those are so pretty. I could just like, I, I already know some of the stuff that I'm going to be wearing on my trip. So hopefully it's focusing. Some of the stuff I'm going to be wearing while I'm on my trip. And um, that's going to be perfect. I got this bracelet. Cause I really needed some more bracelets. I'm a bracelet, bracelets girl. Not really into necklaces like that. Like I, I know I need a couple of necklaces, but I'm really, really, really into bracelets and anklets. Like that's my thing. So um, I got this. That's pretty as well. Hopefully y'all can like see the little detail. I love pink. So I was able to find that. And then the ladies that work in there too are like, you know, older ladies too. So that was a vibe. Like I really did. I, I, I just really like that store. I heard one lady say as she was leaving out, she was telling the, the lady that was on the floor putting stuff out. She was like, I'm not coming back in here no more this week. <laughs> so the lady that worked there started laughing. She was like, well, that's okay. Cause we're not going to have nothing else new this week. So just come back next week. So anyway, I thought that was funny because um, yeah, that, that's the type of store you will go in there and spend all your money. You know, when you find a gym like that, you kind of want to stay with it, especially me, because I have a hard time shopping online, especially if I'm new to shopping online, like to that particular store, online store. I, I, I really don't like it. I like being able to go inside of a store and, you know, feel and try on and touch and all that, you know, I don't care for the online stuff. Uh, but, you know, that's the times we're living in. I also got these. These are little clocks. They have the Roman numerals. You probably can't tell. But they have the Roman numerals going around the border. So it's really pretty. And then I actually could wear it with these. I had this in mind when I got these. So very pretty. And then... I got, I like shiny things. I like all the shiny things. And so that's what I got. I got shiny things. <laughs> so I got this bangle. Isn't that pretty, y'all? Let me show you the bangle. Let me, hold on, I gotta make it focus. Isn't that pretty? I love that. I got that bangle. Let me try it on real quick. Look at that. Anyway, you ain't gonna be able to tell until I got my full outfit on, girl. 
Um, and then I got this one. Isn't this one pretty? Look at that. And it opens. And I, I like bangles, but to be honest, I don't like all that noise. Like I'm real simple. I'm I'm real when it comes to my accessories and stuff like that. I'm a real simple girl with that. I don't like. I used to like bangles when I was younger. When I was much younger, I loved that. But I don't like all of that noise. Like I used to have an anklet that had like bells on it when I was young, young, and I used to walk around making all that noise and bangles and all that kind of stuff. Like I was into that when I was younger. But now I'm just more simple. I just like for my pieces to just make a statement. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what I'm into. And this is very pretty. It's shiny. It's easy to put on and take off. And so I got that as well. And so this is like everyday stuff for me. Like I like getting up, getting dressed. Um, you know, on those days where I don't really want to just lounge, but I actually want to put something on, even though I may not be going nowhere, I might just pop out and do something. Like, I, if I just want to be dressed for the day, I like to have on my anklet or my bracelet and my earrings and just be chilling, my bed made, I'm watching a movie while I'm in there. You know, like, I chill like that. And then I showed y'all these two, the hoops with the butterflies on the side. I bought some like this from Ross, but they were on a different style. They still had the butterflies going around them and they were huge and I never wore them. I, I just, they were too much. I didn't like them. And so, yeah, so that's what I got. And I like the detail on these because it has this little fabric part and it's like pink and then you have beige and yeah, so I got that. Yep, so all of the girly things. And then I also got these that I was trying on. Girl, these are so a freaking pretty. And they were only like $25. And I got those. And y'all didn't really get to see the detail like that on these. But aren't those pretty? Those are so gorgeous. So pretty these would be cute with some jeans you know i like to roll my jeans up so and style mine like that so these would be pretty with that i have long pretty skirts and like you know i just i know how i'm gonna style these so now i have found me a pair of um sandals i need to find one or two more pair and i think that's where i'm gonna let my daughter get them for me on she in because these are cute but um, yeah, the ones she got are really cute. These are so cute and they're so comfortable. And just, again, just so age appropriate. I love these. I just, and I have to keep saying that because y'all, I have a bad experience. And that's what like kind of made me not enjoy shopping anymore because I get tired of going to these stores and everything is just for younger people. And that just shows me that I just been shopping in the wrong places. And now I have a store out here where I can go or not too far from my house and um, yeah, do what I gotta do. So let me put this plant in here. Let's see how this look. So let's see how this is going to look. I like it in there. I like it in the living room. Think that looks pretty what y'all think that's gorgeous i really like that i need to put um the plastic container <clears throat> plastic container in the bottom of it so that because i have one that's that is left over from um no not from the snake plant i have an extra one somewhere in here that i need to sit in the bottom of this so when i water it you know it's it can the bottom of this is not getting soaking wet because it's definitely not the goal. But I like that. I think that's really pretty. It would look even prettier in my room. I might end up moving it, y'all. I don't know. But for right now, that's where it's going to stay. Let me move this so you can really see it. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if I said this earlier. 
I got my snake plant right there. I don't know if it's going to stay, but right now that's where it is, okay? It's just chilling right there. It's getting nice light, and it's good for now until I figure out a spot. But, yeah, I like that. I think that looks pretty. I like it so much better. This is cool, but I'll probably end up putting this on the porch or something for an outdoor plant when I get ready to decorate the porch. So family, this is a very long vlog already, I'm sure. I don't know how long it is, but we've been on here for a while. So I'm not gonna cook my pad thai today. Well, I am gonna cook it today, if I feel like it. And then I'll just like record it and you'll get to see me make it. These are the noodles, I got these out of Publix. So that's what I'm gonna use. Um, if I feel like doing it, I will go ahead and um, film it so you can see how delicious it looks and how it turns out. So if you see me in the same outfit, that means it's because I did it today, right? But in another video, um, if not, I'll just end up making some tuna or something. I don't know. Again, just depends on how I feel. But that is it. And thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog. And until next time, remember, honey, I love you. Peace.